In terms of the number of deaths, the number one risk factor for death is high blood pressure, the second is smoking, and surprisingly, the third is air pollution. The fourth and fifth are diabetes, high blood sugar, and obesity. You can see that about 6.6 million people die every year in the world due to air pollution. But so, I'm Audrey. Today, I will talk about the deaths due to air pollution. We are not very afraid of death that may come in a year or five years. We fear accidents from loud barking dogs, fast moving cars, and high flying planes. In reality, indirect deaths from automobile exhaust are far more threatening than deaths from automobile accidents. A WHO study a few years ago found that air pollution kills 7 million prematurely yearly. Far more people do not die young from such pollution but suffer in one way or another. In dollar terms, pretending to be quantifiable, air pollution from road transportation causes $1 trillion in negative health impacts, cancer, premature death, heart attack, etc in OECD countries annually. According to an MIT study, air pollution causes 200,000 premature deaths annually in the US. Our World in Data published the number of deaths by cause and number of deaths by the risk factors in the world every year. The cause of death refers to the direct cause and the risk factor refers to the indirect cause. Of course, various risk factors affect the death of a single person, and by analyzing this, the number of deaths according to the risk factor is announced. As shown in the chart, you can compare the number of deaths by a cause and the number of deaths by a risk factor. You can easily see the top 5 causes of deaths in the chart. The first number is the number of deaths in millions, and the second is the percentage. The leading causes of death are cardiovascular disease, cancer, and respiratory disease. Cardiovascular disease ranked first at 34%, followed by respiratory-related deaths in third and fifth places, accounting for about 12% overall. The chart shows the top five risk factors of death based on the number of deaths. In terms of the number of deaths, the number one risk factor for death is high blood pressure, the second is smoking, and surprisingly, the third is air pollution. The fourth and fifth are diabetes, high blood sugar, and obesity. You can see that about 6.6 million people die every year in the world due to air pollution. The deaths due to air pollution can be divided into outdoor air pollution and indoor air pollution. 4.5 million people die from outdoor air pollution, and 2.3 million die from indoor air pollution. The surprising part is that 1.2 million people die due to road injuries, whereas 4.5 million die due to outdoor air pollution, which is about four times. As mentioned earlier, we are concerned about dying in automobile accidents, but overlooking that automobile exhaust can kill more people. Regarding the deaths caused by outdoor air pollution, studies have been actively conducted since the early 2000s that long-term exposure to various air pollutants such as fine dust and nitrogen oxides has a significant effect on ischemic heart disease and heart attack. Air pollution not only increases the number of deaths for lung cancer and respiratory diseases, but fine dust passes through the lungs and enters blood vessels and blood, causing various heart diseases. Hold a second, I understand how they calculated number of deaths by cause, but how do they calculate number of deaths by risk factor? In the following slide, the correlation between each cause and risk factor is calculated by combining it in a matrix form. For example, deaths from lung disease and low lung infections are attributed to flu, smoking, air pollution, etc. The effect of the risk factor on the deaths due to each cause is analyzed again. The number of deaths by risk factor is divided according to the ratio, and that is sum. Thank you for watching. Audrey Choi has spoken so far.